Good morning, it is Tuesday. I'm getting ready to head out to work here. It feels like a Monday because yesterday was a rain day and we weren't able to work on a job site yesterday at all. Uh, so today the rain actually passed through early and it looks like it's already done. So we are gonna be able to work. However, I think this job's probably gonna be pretty muddy. It could potentially be a mess, but we're gonna head out there and see. Uh, the new project that we're starting is a patio, a driveway, sidecar parking, front sidewalk, and then we're actually putting a colored and stamped ribbon around the entire perimeter of the driveway and the front sidewalk. So it should be a really cool looking job. Um, I did want to say also this week is going to be a little thin on videos just because of the fact that we didn't work yesterday so I didn't get any job site footage and then Friday I can't video what we're doing uh, so there'll be no videos for those days so we'll probably only have uh, four videos uh, this week. Saturday, I'll probably do another day in the life video. So I just wanted to let you know, uh, you guys know, already know that I do the best I can with the videos, but I did want to let you know uh, the reason that the videos will be a little thin this week. Um, so uh, I got to get to work and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Oh, we got two this morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, good. The dinner started here. Yes. Good morning, Scott. Greetings. How are you this morning? morning? Good. That's good to hear. Yeah. Coffee business is good, I assume. Oh, of course. All right. All right. You are all set. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Yeah. All right. It's a little after six. Just pulled into the yard. This is the time of year when you start to get to work and it is still completely dark out. We have a little bit of light, but as we roll through September and October, it'll be pitch black. See how Mr. Bobby's doing. Mr. Bobby! Highway 26. Morning, Bugs. Morning, fellas. The work show. Daryl's on time again. Incredible. Eric called me though, or texted me, he's late, 10 minutes. All right, we're just cleaning off the truck, form truck. Pretty big mess. There he is. Finally, you came victory style. Finally. You're not going to need a hoodie today, man. It's hot. I know, it feels warm. It's warm out today already. You say victory. You don't want to go victory style, Bob? Man, Eric just pulled in. He texted me he's going to be nine minutes late, and he's nine minutes late. That was pretty good. Oh, not really good, but good guess. Why are you late again? Tell me the truth. Oh, come on. All right, Bob's got a flat tire, and it's actually off the rim on the Mac here. So I'm probably going to have to send him to the tire shop. So delay us a little bit, but that's all right. We'll get it done anyway. We always do. Did you get the address? I texted to you. Probably in the phone, but I just heard you 41st Ryan Road. Yeah, and go right, yeah. head back north on 41st. Yeah. I gotta stop for nails, and I'll come. I'll come to the job then. So I'm stopping at the big box store for nails where I usually get the nails and my construction supply place, uh, they're not open till seven. So I'm gonna get a small box here to hold us over and then I uh, get a big box later this week. Thank you. Here's some nails. You didn't grab any string line by chance? No. I thought, it, wait, we got now, okay, thank you. Finally, Daryl. I don't know if he stopped for breakfast or what. All right, we just pulled up on the job. We are in Franklin, Wisconsin today. Daryl just pulled up, he's unloading the skid loader. Guys are just marking and cutting in the edges with shovels. So when I start excavating, we have a clean edge. So once again, I do this pretty often, but I had the curb cut to remove that bump, speed bump going in. Uh, driveway is getting a little bit wider on this side, um, but this side is actually remaining the same, but we're gonna replace this whole driveway. And then on the driveway, kind of to dress it up, is we're gonna put borders on the driveway, uh, 16 inch wide, colored and stamped borders. Those are gonna be a gray color to match the house. And then the sidewalk up here, we're taking the sidewalk out. 
we're actually moving it over and uh, they're just gonna have a straight sidewalk right here where these pink lines are. And then on the other side of the stoop, it's gonna open up into like a pad or a small patio area. And this whole area will have borders all the way around it, inside and outside. So then over here on the left side of the drive, we're actually opening this up and uh, we're gonna create a sidecar parking area. He's gonna put his boat over here. What's up, Eric? What's up? You tired? Not no more. You should be fresh. We didn't even work yesterday. I know. Man, come on. <laughs> And then back here in the patio area, we're going to pull this stump for access. We're going to remove the old patio. And uh, we're actually going to uh, just kind of reconfigure it. I have the pink lines painted out already. Uh, but you can kind of see there's just a rectangular pad. And then it's going to meet up with another pad uh, for the entrance there into the back door. So, all right, we're pulling the tools out. Uh, Daryl's grabbing the skid loader, the attachments. We're going to lay some plywood down on the side of the house here. And we are going to get started. Man, it's a great day. The sun's actually breaking through, even though they call for rain. Uh, I'm super happy we're able to work today. How's it going? Good, you? Good. How much rain did you get this morning? Nothing. Really? Yeah. That's good, man, because they said thunderstorms coming through real early this morning. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, but thank you very much, man. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I already had coffee. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I did go on your outdoor channel watch some of your videos. Oh, did you? Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. I like the guy you bought. Are you, sure you, are you sure you watch the channel? Well, whatever it is. I yeah, mean, uh, yeah, because it doesn't seem like it. Because if you did, you would have wore work boots. Because those ain't going to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Do you have a horticultural degree? No. Because you said no. you did some landscaping. Landscaping, yeah. I don't know jack diddly about bushes and plants. Okay. Because yeah. I was going to ask you what... Honestly, I just, I, I just pretend to be a landscaper. I planted this when we moved in here, and they were twigs. I got a mail order. Oh, yeah. And... I've been trying to find I can't remember what these damn things are and I can't find them anywhere. These right here, I uh these are bushes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I don't know anything about plants, man. I don't know anything. Why do you look so tired? Oh, it's not really that wet here at all. It's not muddy. Not very muddy anyway. A lot better than I expected. Man, Bugs, I didn't know you were an architect. Yeah. Bugs is doing a professional drawing right here. Let's go put the beak on. We'll pull that out and start pulling the concrete out. I did check into skydiving, but they won't let me film anything, so that's out. Because I asked, and they said I could ride along in the plane, yeah. but I had to stay in the passenger seat, and there's a bulkhead. I can't even see you guys. Right. I said, well, what if I pay to jump, but just don't jump out of the plane? They said, no, you can't do that either. I was like, forget you wow. guys, then. Yeah. All right, Daryl's taking off. He's got the entire patio in that truck. We're able to rip that out. I'm gonna take the beak off, switch to a bucket, dig it out back there. I'm just gonna stockpile the dirt in the driveway for now because uh, Bob's getting a tire fixed and he's not back with the other truck yet. But we gotta keep it moving, so we gotta keep guys busy and keep it efficient, as efficient as possible anyway. That's pretty good right there. Matches the grass. It's a, it's a good it's a good a
we'll be right on that line because that's down, the true down line. Here. It's right yeah, on down that here line, correct? Right, yeah, that's the true I just want to know for digging. Yes, sir, that's the true line. All right, patio's all set up, graded, ready to pour, minus reinforcement. We're gonna move to the front now. It's gonna be some wind noise today, guys. Nothing I can do about that. It's really breezy out, which feels good because it's warm and humid. So I really don't mind it except for the camera wind noise. What are you gonna do? People wonder why driveways fail prematurely. That's why right there, pouring concrete right on top of mud. It's not good. Driveway's not gonna last when you do that, especially here in Wisconsin. I know climates where it doesn't freeze, you guys can get away with that, but not here. Well, that ain't good. I think my quick catch is wearing out. Plate's wearing out, so attachments are starting to fall off when I put back pressure on them. Did you bring me a sandwich today? I thought you fucked up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got some All right, just making sure. I know because he didn't text me till seven something <laughs> and then I text him dude did you just wake up right? and he didn't say nothing <laughs> he did. yeah he, he did I know he did I'm not dumb man I've been doing this for a long time did the patio turn out nice oh, yeah. it was good really good just a little square look right there Where? it was seven yards seven yards and a half just in this one so Eric was just showing me a side job that he did on Saturday and uh Honestly, I don't mind as a boss if guys do side jobs as long as they don't interfere uh, with our work. So I actually rented them a skid steer and I borrowed them the power buggy. You know, I helped them out. I'm okay with that uh, as long as I don't start getting taken advantage of, which has happened in the past and past years where at that point you got to shut it off. Uh, but these guys are new and I really like these guys and I'm more than willing to help them out. They can make a little extra money on the weekend. I ain't going to stop them. I think that's great. Are you okay? You look like you were having a seizure. <laughs> that's what you guys got to do all day, huh? One after the other? Man. You guys didn't happen to find a flux capacitor down there, did you? Not in this one. We just redid them. Yeah, they look brand new, man. Anyway, hopefully they don't leak. <laughs> Who cares, man? <laughs> Who cares? There he is, finally. Man, I've been waiting for dump trucks. Well, what did you buy on my credit card? Because you've been gone a long time, man. No, I didn't. Like a couple hours. Yeah, right. Yes. No. How long? He was gone a long time, wasn't he? Dude, we set up the whole bag thing. Mr. Bubba. Never walk in front of the truck when Mr. Bobby's driving. That's rule number one. Turn around and you got gravel, right? So dump the gravel and get out of the way. No, no, stop. Don't dump all that in the grass, dude. Then we just gotta rake the grass up. Yeah, you're gonna tilt it all right here. You pick it up and we'll tilt it over there. And we got less cleanup. Eh? Work smart. Work smarter, not harder. All right, Bob, go dump that. Don't be talking to the girls for half an hour. Just go dump it, man. 
Get out of here, go. Yeah. Pedal to the metal, man. You're breaking a little bit this way too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What are you doing? Absolutely not. Out. Out. No, 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 no. I think for the 100,000 subscribers, we should have a celebrity boxing match. You versus Bobby. Oh, yeah. And then I, I can get that, Bugs. Come on, Daryl. I'm good. And then the winner takes on Daryl Jr. for all the marbles. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Don't let that boy bull rush <laughs> Bobby knocks me out. Oh, we already know that, Daryl. Come on. Yeah. Well, this level's bad. You can't see any of the no. plums anymore. No. I, I, cleaned <laughs> just, you off, can't I cleaned see off it at all. this this morning so I could see, but that was it. I yeah. saw you scraping it. Yeah, too. <laughs> see, this time you got back quick. Now I know this time you didn't stop. You can't fool me when you stop, man. I've been nowhere. I've been doing this for I a long time. Nowhere. Yeah, right. Where would I stop? Yeah, if you weren't here, I don't even know what we'd do. We would have to take the day off. Wow. See, he stopped at Cousins. Man. Or that. Oh, mm. Did your wife do all this? Yeah. Man. I should give her a raise, not Thanks, you. Honey. Yes, thank yeah, you, Kathy. You You're the best. I got raviolis and a sandwich, wow. and crackers, and dessert, man. Oh, really? And yeah, dessert. Man. Wow. <laughs> hey, three more years of lunches, and we're square. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the Easy Money Tour video I made last night, I got about 130 emails already of people that are interested. Yeah. Yeah. Problem is, I gotta sort long. through them all though. Right. Right. That's the problem. Well, I'm gonna do it. You guys busy at all? Yeah. What you doing? Nothing. What are you looking at? TikTok? Nope. Instagram? Nope. Victory Outdoor Services? Yeah. Victory. Yeah. We're gonna have to put a break. It's too low. Yeah. That's got an eighth right now? Yes, sir. We'll just leave it there then. And we'll put a break at the end okay. from there to there. Daryl, what took so long? Did you stop somewhere? Look at this. I hear you, man. Come on. You know, I just start breaking the approach, and uh, Eric measured it at nine inches thick. It's not hot. Why are you acting like that? Hey, how wide do you want the borders on the sidewalk? The driveway, we're going to go like 16 inches. Nice it's and probably fat. Probably too wide on the sidewalk. Yeah. Right? Then it would look like that. Then that doesn't look bad. No, that what would be think? no, that would be better. All right, let's go wait. Yeah, that would be a lot better for okay. sure. So these sidewalks are going to have borders on them. Like this, decorative colored and stamped borders. And then the center will be plain concrete. Just make sure your board is very straight and you're right exactly to the line with your height. It's very important on borders. You know, open it. Miss them off. My victory sweater, I'll take care of You messed up the victory sweater? You know, you know we're at work, right? <laughs> if you're not dirty at the end of the day, probably be looking for another job. Oh man. That's the main electric for the whole city, bro. Oh. <laughs> it is. If I cut that, the whole city goes down. Francisco was believing it, man. <laughs> I want to set this one form here before we go. Yeah, I want to set this form here for sure. It's only uh, it's only quarter to three. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do the from here to there, right? Yeah, pull pull this up to that sidewalk, the top end. Go all the way up. Got it. Grab that level now, Daryl. 
we got the driveway mostly set up. Just got to bring some long 2x6s tomorrow. We didn't bring any on the truck because this approach needs to be 7 inches thick. And it needs an inspection. So we got to call the inspector, have him come out, check the forms. And 2x4s aren't going to cut it. change this change oh man he did get me he did get me you should have seen the look on your face <laughs> you need to put more cones around that trailer in the back because somebody could drive right up the ramps i'm not going to be in the yard in the morning to wake you up and call you and text you because i got a doctor's appointment make sure you're at the yard on time tomorrow i don't want no excuses i'm five minutes late i'm 10 minutes late you be on time set two alarms and have your wife kick you <laughs> i'm serious Hey, this is for you. Really? Yeah, a guy from the channel sent it over. There was one for me, my daughter, Bugs, and you. It's from a church in Michigan. Really? Yeah, I don't know anything about the church, but it's a free shirt. From Thank a, you for the shirt. Yeah, nice guy. So come to the yard, make sure you're on time. Bring Junior, man, because yeah, my channel is tanking. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I only had like four views all day yesterday. Oh, come I did, four views. And then when he comes in, I get 150,000 at least. That's good. Yeah. Whoa. That truck has the loudest horn, I think, out of any truck that I've ever heard. That thing is just insane. The air horn is crazy. So we're done for the day. Um, we got everything excavated. Most of the stuff is set. We got to bring a couple long two by sixes down here. I think I mentioned that earlier and uh grade some of this driveway but we're all set we're gonna start pouring tomorrow morning we're gonna pour that sidecar parking in the patio and then we're gonna pour uh, the sidewalk as well tomorrow and then thursday we're gonna pour the entire driveway and then actually uh friday we're not gonna finish this job we actually have something to go do that i can't video uh, but we're gonna come back monday and finish the borders i explained everything to the homeowner he's fully aware that we're not coming to finish the job on friday so we're actually gonna finish the borders up on monday uh i think that's it so i'll see you guys right back here tomorrow morning for this concrete pour adios